Hey everyone, I'm here with Dave with Riptide. How are you doing today? Excellent. Good. Well, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the Riptide. All right. What we're doing with the Riptide is we do a single piece rotational molded vacuum case. We do a 10 year warranty to prove that we have solved the problem of the cases breaking down and cracking and whatnot from the sun and whatever happens to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a quarter of an inch thick. It's the same process in plastic they used to make kayaks. So it's really durable, made to be in the sun all day, every day. Okay. It's very thick and strong, but it's also very flexible. If you look down here, it's actually able to, to bend and twist a lot. Okay, yeah. Um, next thing that we did is ceramic ball bearings on the wheels. These wheels are totally impervious to the chemicals in the water. They, we have two and a half year old machines on the road. They still spin just like that. Mine, exactly. Mine still spin after two years like that. Yep. Uh, next thing that we did is we took a proactive approach to solving all the debris that gets stuck on the shaft of the motors. So we created what we call a debris guard that sticks to the top of the motor and it meshes up inside of the impeller and it just makes it so there's no path for stringy debris to get into the Nice, shaft. nice, nice. Uh, the next innovative thing we did is we gave the motor and the cord a good quick disconnect. Okay. Watertight connection here, a through bulkhead fitting here, so you, so you unscrew it here and unscrew it there, and then you can unplug it and replace just the motor or the cord as needed. Oh, awesome. So you don't have to send the vacuum in to get it resoldered or anything like that? No, anybody can literally change this motor in about 10 minutes. We were very careful on the design to be sure that it was super easy for anybody to change the motor. Awesome, great. Uh, yeah, the next thing that we did is there's always been a lot of complaints and I always had a hard time doing uh, maintaining the batteries in some of these units. So what we did is a real simple battery compartment with a spring rod. These pads, these orange pads adjust to the battery that the customer chooses. There's another one that locks it down from the top here. Nice. So the battery fits in super tight, there's no room for bouncing around. These split rings here adjust back to allow the spring rod to ride tight up against the battery. So again, there's no movement of that battery whatsoever. And actually, a side, a side point, I've noticed when you have the 35H battery there, there's enough space to put uh, small little one pound chemical bottles there. There actually is. I've actually seen some people with those little 35 amp bottles set them off to the side even, and then have this space over here for yeah, stacking Yeah, exactly, bottles. yeah. So let's talk about this. I know we've gone through a couple of reiterations of that, so. That is an interesting item because we had a terrible failure problem with the original design, which was just an off-the-shelf straight pin connector, which is totally inadequate for doing the job. Mm -hmm. We took painstaking uh, time and effort into designing this to truly fulfill the needs. What we need with a good, to, to make a good connector for an electrical connection, it has to be super tight. If you mm -hmm. don't have tight and it creates heat, it starts to burn up the connections. Exactly. And you don't get full power to the head, so you don't get full speed, you don't, just don't get the full power. So what we did is we created a connection that is so tight, you can't possibly plug it in by hand. But when you have the hook right here and the pin here, you get a massive leverage. So it snaps in and it really is super tight. Very positive. Very positive connection. The other thing that it achieves though is with that pin like that in the hook, when you're vacuuming, if you pull on it, instead of pulling it apart, it actually forces it tighter together. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about the bags. So go ahead, Dave. Okay, the bags are totally unique to us. We have a ring sewn onto the bag where there's a groove here, nice defined groove. There's a ridge on the top of the vacuum. You snap the bag into that uh, groove, or the, groove, the vacuum into that groove. You snap it on, and when it's on there, there's absolutely no chance of blow off. Check that out, guys. He's literally picking out the entire car by the bag. You cannot do that with any other system. Now, when you do want to empty the bag, a lot of people don't empty the bag, so it's very hard to get them off on a typical vacuum and then put them back on in a really solid manner. So they really hesitate to take them off and empty them between pools. This one's very easy to take off. Just pull the two tabs at the same time, pops off instantly, and it's very easy to empty because the ring actually holds the bag open. Awesome. Empty it out really easy. Now you guys came out with a new uh, type of bag, correct? Yes, we did. And that really, the reason for the new bag is right here, is simply to allow the people an option to get the cost down. It is a replaceable item. It's going to wear out. It's going to get holes poked in it. If it does ever get a hole poked in it and it's not through its normal life, 
hot glue gun is a great way to repair a hole and then get the rest of the life out of the bag. Nice. Uh, but this one here has an elastic band sewn into it. Okay. Snaps onto the top of the vacuum. Very and then, easy. And then you take the ring, you drop it over the bag, snaps on, and it does the same thing. It just prevents the blowout. That was going to be my next question. Was it, uh, you know, weaken the bag at all or anything like that? But obviously it doesn't. No, it's, it's held up really well. Everybody has responded well to this. They seem to really like it. People like the other. You almost get two bags for one. I mean, it's $20 instead of $35. That's nice. Very nice thing for people. They have to replace them anyway. And now this one takes the same thing when you take it off. You just take the two tabs. It's not quite as convenient as the original orange ring side. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to keep using that, and we will always have that available. Uh huh. This is just an option for those that decide they want to go through. Gotcha. You guys are constantly innovating your stuff, so. We're trying to. We, we try to look at it like it was us using it and what we would want to do. Gotcha. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, transport rack, because I think that's a huge thing for this vacuum cleaner system as well. The, the transport rack, we tried to do it in a manner that is just super easy to do, especially a lot of smaller people, women, that are in the industry. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tough for them to put it on and then work a secondary latch. So we developed this so it simply hooks in. When you lift it, you just push it up. The just clips right in. Automatically clips right in. And then how do you take it out? This big oversized dog is what holds it in. When mm -hmm. you release it, I have this handle oriented upright right now, but you can go really anywhere. You can, yeah, I have mine down, yeah. So uh, this one here is upright. A lot of people seem to like it this way is why we set it up this way at the show. Mm -hmm. You push on it to release, that's it. And you're back up and rolling on your next pool. So there, you, uh, is this a actual in production item or is this still a prototype? We, we just authorized production this week. Awesome. So this will be coming out, we're expecting around three months it will be available. Uh, we, we, came out with the original prototype last year and it was not sufficient in that we couldn't get enough adjustment on the on the pivot pin mm -hmm. and it just wasn't working as well as it needed to so we went ahead also people asked for it to be used for pickup trucks we were thinking vans exclusively originally. yes so because they wanted to use it on pickup trucks they were asked for it to be flipped the other direction and be at a swing curbside so with this new pivot point, it's capable of going either direction. Awesome, so let's take a look at it. Uh, okay, the way it works is simply, first of all, it is not just a swing hitch. It also allows you to offset the machine and set it in front of the passive door if you're using a van. So you can put it anywhere you want along yes. the bar. Uh, anywhere you want, correct. You can set it off to the side, you can okay. do whatever you need to. But the whole idea is you can access the, the active door on a van uh -huh. and leave it in front of the passive door. Okay. And then if it's in front of the passive door and you want to load a heater or something large in the back of the van, you flip the lever right here and then it swings away. Check that out guys, you can open up your van doors now. It's basically the same latch mechanism as the transport rack, super rugged, but the nice thing about it again, matches by itself when you swing the shut. Now let me ask you this, Dave. Can you actually swing that out and be able to open up your truck bed? Absolutely. Awesome. It's, so it gives enough that's clearance. That's the other thing we learned. Originally, like I said, we were we were anticipating this would be used for vans. As soon as everybody saw it, they wanted to use it on pickup trucks. They want to be able to drop that tailgate, load stuff from the tailgate, obviously in the back of the truck. Gotcha. Um, this, this allows them to do it on anything they want. Super easy super smooth it has a grease spinning on the pivot end so it, you can grease it you can maintain it you can deal with it nice and uh what's the warranty on all this kind of stuff how does this all work we do one year on everything the except the vacuum case the main vacuum case which is just this blue plastic yep. case here that's a 10-year warranty against cracking and things like that okay great and you guys always handle upgrades well. You always, you know, push them out free of charge kind of thing. Yeah, we're proud of how we deal with upgrades. We think it's very important. We had a uh, couple of problems when we started. We had a hard time making cords. Uh, we originally used a straight pin connector. Uh, as you know, mm -hmm. I think all your machines were originally the straight pin connector. Yes. We upgraded everything. Since we updated that plug, and that was a free upgrade to every single Riptide on it. Uh, since we updated that, we have had no failures with that plug. That's fantastic. That really, really good. We're super excited about it because that was a piece of the puzzle we had to have. We want to hit as close to zero uh, warranties, zero problems as possible, of course. And since we did that plug, we're there. It's really yeah, and it speaks a lot to you guys about how you guys just have the uh, customers' backs. It's not like 
other companies I've I've dealt with where it's just you're sort of like a a number, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate it, and our customers have really have really responded to that, and they talk about it. They talk about it on social media, which I love it because it's very important to us to maintain uh, a good relationship with our customers, and we do that. We work very hard to be sure that we don't leave any customers hanging, leave them, even if they have a problem that they maybe uh, just don't understand something. They call us, we work through it, we like doing that. We learn more, we learn more about what we have to teach our customers, and. That's what it's all about. And the support's really good too. You guys aren't going through a distributor, so you guys deal directly with us, and it's a very quick turnaround. So, a weeks yeah. at a time, it's a day. Yeah, you, we, can, we can get parts anywhere in the country in one day. It's no problem at all. And the last thing I want to touch on is the user serviceability of the cart. Let's go ahead and go through that about how easy it is for anybody to upgrade or change stuff. Okay. Uh, even things like the control panel that we upgraded. As you know, originally we had a switch problem. We solved the switch problem with a great new switch. We designed our own plug, which has been perfect. Um, but after that, we were trying to create a machine that was easy for, especially big fleets, people that have, you know, 8, 10, 20 riptides. Sure. We want them to be sure that their techs are on the road on time every day. So what we did, first of all, the head, because it separates from the cart, if a service tech was to call up the shop and they need to, uh, their head dry, dies for any reason, the motor goes bad, the cord goes bad, anything happens, a person could meet them, give them a head, it plugs right into the cart. So Only that, system out there you can do that. Yeah, it's very yep. cool in that way. Yeah, definitely. The next thing that we did though, instead of having to have a lot of riptides hanging around these extra pieces and parts, um, Two bolts, this whole control panel comes off. We sell this control panel completely wired. They can literally put two bolts in, the wires hook right up to the battery, and they're off and running again. Nice, nice. It's really very little to go wrong with the control panel anyway, mm -hmm. but everything can fail. It's mechanical. So yeah, sure, it's just, sure. It's an option for bigger companies to just make sure everything is up and running all the time. And I think a big replaceable part you guys are able to do are the motors. That's the biggest complaint I hear with other systems. They got to send it and their their cleaners down for three weeks because yeah, they're waiting to get it resoldered and everything. When so we came up with this, part of what we were doing, we wanted to be sure because we're selling across, really across the world at this point. It's important everybody can do their own maintenance. So we developed this specifically so that, first of all, the cord separates from the motor right here. Mm -hmm. um, you unscrew the through bulkhead fitting here, you uh, unscrew this fitting here, and it unplugs. Two bolts on the bottom, mm -hmm. one bolt right here, and the motor slides out the top. Drop a new motor in, put the bolts back in, you can literally change this motor in about somewhere around 10 minutes. That's, that's huge. Absolutely you're, incredible. So guys, you're down 10 minutes versus three weeks. Yep. So, well, I appreciate all the info, Dave, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.